I think we're gonna make one of the uh, one of my most favorite Alaskan uh, salmon patterns. We're gonna use glitter tube. This is Scandinavian tubing. Uh, glitter tube. You can see the glitters are put right into the plastic when it's when it's extruded. Uh, really nice bright stuff, and it's gonna work well with the flash fly that we're gonna make. Now the flash fly that we're making is uh, just an adaptation of the, the the very famous flash fly that's been used on hooks for many many years. Uh, I'm going to start by just cutting about an, just over an inch of the glitter tube and I'm going to just quickly melt melt a lip on the edge of the glitter tube and I actually caught fire there and you can see it turned a little bit brown uh, not as ideally what you want to do but I'm fine with it fish don't mind either so I've got a tube now where the back end is ridged front end I'm going to add plastic small Scandinavian plastic tubing just like that alright you can see now I've got a step tube again uh, rear is the glitter tube large size Scandinavian tubing and the front is small small size Scandinavian tube and again it's just pressed in not really deeply uh, it's, it holds on pretty well I'm not going to glue it at all okay, I'll put that onto my tapered pin Sometimes it's tricky finding the small, there we go, getting into the small Scandinavian tube. And I'll push it on, not too hard. It has to get it jammed, but hard enough so it won't spin. Alright, let's get this tube onto the tapered pin. Just tight enough so it'll come off afterwards. And the whole idea of using glitter tube is to have a lot of the glitter tube actually exposed as the body of the fly so I'm only connecting the thread way up near the front I want to have the back part here exposed because that's that's part of the actual pattern now I'm gonna make a little ball of seal for dubbing this will just help hold the tinsel wing up a little bit Oops, a little tighter there we go Now, I don't need a lot of dubbing here, just, just enough to make a little ball ball of fur. I'll give a little structure to the to the soft tinsel that's gonna go on next. Okay, so just like that. Just a ball of fur. Just gonna tie this tinsel on in clumps around the entire diameter of the tube. Carefully twist it just a little bit. Put on another clump. And twist it again. Put on another clump. You can put as much tinsel or much of this holographic flash you want as you want. Uh, I keep mine a little more sparse than some people. Um, I know some people will tie them or they're almost like uh, those old Christmas tree patterns where it was almost entirely tinsel. Okay. I'm going to add some more structure to the wing now um, by adding a little bit of fuchsia temple dog. This will just kind of bulk up the pattern a little bit so it's not just a, just not, not just a, a flash of blue fly. So I'll tie in a clump. Hey, yeah, I'll go three clumps. One more here. This just adds a little more, little more uh, bulk to the wing, I guess. Right. I'm now going to go in with uh, my purple holographic flashaboo. I'm going to add even more of this than I added the silver. Now we tie these, or I tie these for my own fishing in, uh, in a lot of different colors. Chartreuse works well. 
Uh, the traditional flashlight color was red with the silver flash. Um, I have most luck with the purple to be honest, but color is, well like anything fly tying, color is whatever, whatever you want to give it a go. Okay, now I'm going to go in with uh, some purple marabou. This really gives a nice pulsating action in the water. Uh, so the fish can see the pulsating and movement and then the flash and anybody who's ever fished for uh, spawning salmon know a lot of times when they hit it's just an ingression. It's not, uh, not anything to do with feeding. So movement's always good as well as, well as the uh, attractiveness of the of the flashy flashy colors. I'll add one marabou feather and I'll add one more. And spinning it on just like you would with any marabou fly, like a popsicle or an Alaska boo. Just pulling it back while I while I wrap. And, and usually with patterns like this, I'll wet my fingers a little bit. Just pull it back just so you can see what the final fly is going to look like. And a brush its hair a little bit, I guess you could call it. I'm going to go in with a little bit more purple flash, not as much as I used before, but just some accents for the outside, outside collar and things like that. I'll usually just go on one side and the other. There we go. Now, um, finishing this off, I usually like to add a collar onto it. Um, just gives another another little addition to uh, to an already great pattern. Maybe for the color of this fly, I'm gonna go with hot pink. It's a uh, it's a good combination, pink and purple. Uh, one of my my number one combos for sure. You want to find a piece of schlappen that has or a schlappen feather that has pretty long fibers. After all, it's a big fly meant for meant for chinook and other big fish. We'll tie it in. And we'll give it a few wraps. Pulling it back the whole time. Probably about five or six wraps in total. And I'll pull back and make a head. Now this is a very easy fly to also add a cone head to. I'm not going to worry about a cone head this time though. I'm going to keep a nice small head on this one. And I usually use this on ultra fast sinking line, so uh, weight's really not an issue even though it's a plastic fly. Okay, I'll finish off the head.
and just like usual I'll cut leaving about one or two millimeters oh, I have to get this off the off the pin okay, now I'll melt it next to an open flame just like how we usually melt it hey okay, you can see mine caught fire there a little bit don't want to usually do that but I got it out in time I'll glue up the head. Hey, okay, now uh, I don't think this part's too important. Some people think it's a little more important than others. A lot of guys like to have a nice square shape to the back, almost like those Christmas tree patterns I mentioned before. I don't think it's that big of a deal, but you can see little haircut might be needed. You end up with a really useful pattern for salmon. Like I said, I've had these in my fly box seven or eight, nine different colors for sure. And they are winners, no question. Okay, that's my Alaska flash fly on a tube, purple version.